Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In this video, we are going to configure routing for our employee management application. So far, we have created list employee component and we have populated a list of employees on a page. All right, we have exposed list employee REST API and we have created a component in React which will call a React which will call a REST API and a render a response of the REST API on our web page. In going forward, we will be creating a lot of React components. So before that, we have to create a routing for our application. In this video, we will create a routing for application step by step. Okay. We are going to use a React router package to configure routing for our application. Let's go ahead and let's installed react router using npm command go to the integrate terminal and go to the project go to the inside project and just type the command npm install and then react router dom hit enter so this will take a couple of seconds to install a package in node underscore modules folder let's wait for a moment all right guys we have successfully installed react router dom package in our project go to the app.js file so this is the this file contains app component and app component is our root component so we should configure routing inside this component okay so because if you look at index.js file we have given app, app component as a root component to render inside a react dom dot render all right go back to app.js file and here inside app.js file we will configure routing all right now let's go ahead and let's import browser router route and switch elements from react router dom import from react router and then dom so let's go ahead and let's import browser router let's give alias to this as router and then let's also import a route element and also import switch element here we are going to use switch element from react router dom because this element will ensure that only one component will render at us at the same time okay great now once we import browser router route and switch element from react router dom let's go ahead and let's use these these elements in the app component so notice here whenever we want to render we first go inside a browser router okay let's first create a router over here just close here after that let's create a div let's give class name equals let's use bootstrap css class that is container and let's close this div uh, before route closing let me align this okay and then after div let's create a switch switch element here and just close switch after list component yeah here we go so just follow the step first comes router after that we have created a div and and then header component and after that switch inside a switch we configure routes okay great so look at here we have header and footer component uh, created outside a switch because 
header and footer applicable to all the components so we can keep header and footer components outside a switch element within a switch element let's go ahead and let's configure routes let's create a route element and route has attributes for example path so inside path we give a url that is slash so this is the home page url and once we enter a url something like localhost localhost colon 3000 slash then this corresponding component will get called route element has component attribute so here we can configure a component that is list employee component so whenever we enter this url in a browser this corresponding component will get rendered okay get let's go ahead and let's configure one more router let me copy this route and paste it here so whenever we enter a url in a browser something like this localhost colon 3000 slash employees then corresponding component will get rendered in a browser so for that we have configured this router all right guys we have successfully configured a routing in our employee management application now let's save this file and let's go back to the browser and let us test our routing in browser all right let me go to the browser here in a new tab just type localhost 3000 slash and hit enter yeah here we go so this is a home page so we have configured a route for home page right so whenever we enter localhost colon 3000 slash then list employee component will get rendered and also we have configured a router for employees right so let's hit this link yeah here we go so whenever we enter a router routing like slash employees path the list employee component will get rendered in a page all right guys we have successfully implemented a routing in our project so look at here header and footer so there is a slight css changes we need to require so let's go back to the vs code and here you can see here we can just remove this div let me remove this line div and this div all right let's save the file and let's go back to the browser we'll be able to see the header and footer aligned in a proper format all right guys we have successfully configured routing in our employee management application going forward whatever uh, components we will create in react application we will configure routes for them and we will implement other functionality accordingly all right great